Hey everybody, welcome back. I am happy to see you. This is me, Luke Mick, and this is my review for Cold in July. So guys, before I say anything about this movie, I'm just going to tell you, if I look a little squeamish during this review, please don't mind that, because I don't know what it is, but my basement smells really bad. Like, it smells like cat piss or something. I don't know exactly what's wrong with it, but uh, just please don't mind me if I seem a little weird during this movie review. So, Cold in July stars Michael C. Hall, Sam Shepard, and Don Johnson. Now, this movie takes place in the 1980s in Texas, and it's basically about your average Joe played by Michael C. Hall, who's a picture framer. He's a husband, he's a father, he has a small son and a wife, of course. And he wakes up in the middle of the night, right at the beginning of the movie, and he finds a burglar in his home, and he kills the man, because, I mean, it's Texas. No, that's not why. He did, his finger slips, and he accidentally kills him. The cops come in, help him clean up the scene, and they're like, okay, everything's all good. But then the next day, he finds out that this, this guy he killed has a father, and this father just made parole. And this guy is played by Sam Shepard, and he's out to get Michael C. Hall and his family. So, before I say anything else, you guys, this movie, for its story, is one of the most original movies I have seen in many, many years. Honestly, there were so many twists and turns in this movie, and I'm not going to ruin any of them for you. And I went into this movie not knowing anything about it, and I, I came out of it so surprised and so just happy as to how good it was. The story in this movie is honestly something I have never even seen before. It's on a whole new level. It was so different, it was so cool, and it worked so well with all the twists and all the turns. It's one of the most original movies I've ever seen. So the story for this movie is just incredible. The performances, everybody is really good. The movie, I'm gonna say, has kind of a B-movie feel to it, which I wasn't really expecting. I knew it was gonna be like a dark, gritty drama, but I wasn't expecting so much B-movie kind of tones, and it had a lot of that, and honestly, I loved it. So Michael C. Hall in this movie, as the average guy, the father, did an incredible job. I didn't even recognize him. He really lost himself in his role. Sam Shepard was very menacing in this movie, and he played the role of this kind of very twisted, uh, like, out-of-jail guy very, very well, who had kind of a troubled past. And the thing that I really like about this movie is that you never find out why he was in prison to begin with, and I really like how they kind of kept that a secret. And Don Johnson in this movie played kind of like a detective. He was absolutely hilarious. I loved him. I've really been seeing that guy in a lot of movies lately, and I really like him. I know he used to be in Miami Vice, and as an actor, I think he's a really great guy to have in your movie. So the performances and the way that these three guys work together in this movie is just awesome. I honestly, they were so fun to watch. And like I mentioned, this movie really is kind of B-movie in a way, and a lot of people have been comparing this director to John Carpenter, and I think that is a very fair comparison to make. And I'm a big fan of John Carpenter. I love Halloween. I love The Thing, Escape from New York. I think all of his movies are just awesome. Now, this movie is always, always has this, like, just pulse-pounding electronic synth music kind of beating in the background, and it's all so 80s, and it sounds just awesome. Awesome. I love the mood and the tone of this movie. It's really kind of cheesy B-movie. It really reminded me a lot of like Hobo with a Shotgun and like I said a lot of John Carpenter movies. But anyways, the, the tone and the mood of this movie and just the direction was all so awesome and honestly reminded me so much of John Carpenter and I thought that that was really cool. I'm really excited to see what this guy can do in, in the future because this movie showed a lot of promise. It was gritty, it was violent, it was funny at times, the performances were great and the story was just on, it was awesome. I loved the story so much. The only complaint I really have about the movie is that sometimes it's like B-movie tone can be a little overbearing sometimes. Like at some parts, it's just kind of like, okay, it's getting just a little annoying. But for the most part, I absolutely loved what they were going for. So, Cold in July was an awesome movie. It's still on demand. So if you guys want to check it out, then I implore you to go do it. Because Cold in July is one of the best movies I have seen all year. So I'm going to give it four and a half out of five stars. You guys, Thank you for watching. This was me, Luke Mick. Please subscribe, and I'll talk to all of you later.